Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another plan with me for the week of April 23rd through April 30th and it is still very much a surprise to see that we are at the end of yet another month. It feels like these months are just flying by. Um, This month also ends on the 30th which falls on a Sunday. So I think for May, I am going to be a Monday star again. Um, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I just start the week out on a Sunday. So sometimes that is coming from um, the later days coming from a previous month. But this year, this month, this year, this month, well, May, I think I'm going to go with a Monday star. It was very difficult to use Sunday star. I must admit, because I've just been so used to, like, starting my week on a Monday, and it gets even more confusing because my job start of the week is on a Saturday. So I have, like, a few different things in my mind challenging me, and that's okay. So the sticker book that I am using today is Spoonful of Faith, and I chose it the same reason why I've chose it before and that is just to have some like calmness I would say and peace within my planning so I love flowers anyway but these flowers are just so nice and soft I feel like the detail and um, just the images are absolutely gorgeous and it's what I need for this week just a calm spirit so, um, naturally, when I open up my planner, I want it to reflect the same thing. So, here you'll just see me laying things down. I also use minimal stickers because I want to focus on lists. And I, I say lists because I'm just taking it back to the basics. And I was more productive years and years and years and years ago when I just utilized a list. So I'm leaving space for there. You will see me put just a couple of stickers down. And this one, I believe, says reflection. So just how I feel I did for the end of the week. And I kind of like that. I started it, I would say, a month ago um, when I got the template from a Google. Um, just I had just searched like a monthly review and they have like so many different things that comes up. And then it also had a weekly review. So being able to fill in the weekly review section and check out my video if you haven't seen the setup for this month. And you'll get a chance to see exactly what I'm talking about. I just feel that it's really good to reflect off of each week as well as the month. Because maybe it's something you can tweak along the way. So I think weekly check-ins are very good. Um, and so I am, to be honest, um, of course, I was going to ask you all, how has your week um, been going? Well, how was your last week? Because this is the start of another week. But how was your last week? And do you all do check-ins with yourself at the end of the week in terms of like, Oh, did I get all that I wanted accomplished this week? Because I know typically I do like a to-do list for that week at the beginning of the week. And then I kind of feel in my days with the different tasks that I need. However, I feel that I have been missing the mark on that quite a bit. So I want to try to switch my system up next month. Not switch it up in that sense, but I still want to have it in there. I just need to make sure that I see what I need to do for the month. And if that means that I have to add some things on some stickies and just like um, transfer the sticky along with each day's as a reminder, then that's what I'll do. But that's was a huge reason in why I wanted to just make a flat list for each day and leave like some blank spaces. Sunday, as you'll see, um, I put down an errand sticker and I'm just going to list the errands that I did because they were quite a bit. Um, and then off camera, I remembered that today was my aunt's birthday. So I put a sticker down for that. 
I am really, as I've mentioned before, trying to use the functional stickers that I have as well. And you'll see right here, for these four days, I'm using the to-do sticker. And so I'm getting a chance to use those as well. I just love how the colors are so soft. This next, um, this week coming up and going into next month, I really do want to just spend some time with evaluating things. And I think next month will be like a month of evaluation in terms of like just my habits and what exactly I'm doing because I feel like I'm not so happy with how my body is performing. Yes, I know I have some health issues that has been challenging, but I know ultimately I still have control of a lot that's going on as well. So I want to kind of look more into what I'm eating, how often I'm taking my vitamins and my medicines, you know, am I sporadic with that? Am I late in terms of time-wise? I know the um, the last couple of weeks at work have been like planted by ear because I'm still in training. I'll still be in training for a while, but sometimes she likes to train me with the other few people that came in in the group that I did. So that's why the schedule change, it still hasn't gone to me in my normal schedule. Um, so I just need to, and that's not a problem because life happens, even if it wasn't that, like life happens and sometimes you have to adjust and just rearrange some things. And if you don't already have habits in place or a good sense of what you need to do, when those challenges come, then it throws you off. I am just a lot more evident it's, it's becoming a lot more evident, I'll say, and the things that I lack in that are a huge component to functioning properly. Um, and one of them is sleep. I have been having trouble with sleep. I would say it started for like the last year. Um, I've tried different things. It's just very hard to do. Um, sometimes it's a hit or miss, even if I take uh, my sleep medication, sometimes it doesn't work and I'll be tired like throughout the day and still have not slept. So it's a lot of things that I feel like I really need to concentrate on and slow things down myself because sometimes we wait on things to happen like, oh, I'll just wait for this to do this. When this happens, then I'll do this. And I don't want to play around with my health and not be intentional with it. So I feel like I really need to be more seriously intentional when it comes to just my rest and physical health and the things that I need to do. So I want to be able to track and I think May and June and I will give it two months because I think it's important to see how well I'm doing um, in terms of actually logging and evaluating things like really using the habit trackers and stuff. So next month you'll see I am going habit track it, habit track it, habit tracking heavy. And that's because May and June, I do want to use ed as evaluation months. And then I can make a more feasible plan going forward instead of like blindly saying this, how many hours I want to sleep. But yes, that was long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to comment, write, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you have an awesome week. Bye-bye.